I'm John Rudnick. I'm a mine engineer here at BNI Coal. I've been here for going on four years now. My main responsibilities are the reclamation side of our mining process, uh, to handle scheduling, production, uh, work hand in hand with operations day to day. We're located in Center, North Dakota. Uh, BNI Coal's main customer is Minkota Power. Uh, they consist of two generating stations. Our all our coal basically goes to them. We average, we mine on average four million tons per year. We're a uh, 24-hour mine operation with our with our drag lines. Our coal loading fleet works on a five-day schedule. Our mining process consists of uh, first removing ore burden above the coal. Uh, for that, we use uh, three drag lines. We have an 8200 Bucyrus, a 757 Page, and a 736 Page. These are uh, the machines we use to uncover the coal. Once uncovered, we use a fleet of uh, three. 992 and 993 cap front end loaders, uh, loading 180 ton crest coal trucks. Those are hauled strictly to a power plant. And from there, once the spoil is placed on the, in the existing pit, we uh, begin using our dozer, scraper fleets, truck shovel fleets to finish that reclamation process. Our, uh, our current process is right now we have a surveyor goes out and stakes our key line, our shoe line for our drag line. They typically follow these lines so they know how much we can control how much spoiled dirt is going in our previously mined pit. One benefit we could see from machine control with our drag line is that eliminates that extra step that frees up our surveyor for other projects and that sort of thing. It gives the operator guidance right on their screen to where these lines are at, where to follow. He can kind of control himself, see if he's over digging, you know, that sort of thing. It's all a benefit. It helps us control the amount of spoiled dirt going in our pit. Our dozer fleet was the first fleet of uh, equipment we placed machine control on. Uh, we have a fleet of four dozers that we place them on, and we're currently up to five right now. Where this benefits, machine control benefits our dozers. Once that spoil is placed in our previous pit, it's the dozer's job is to begin leveling this and shaping the earth back to our post-mine topography. It's with this new technology, more and more, it's realized that you can get more accurate with your topography to control your slopes, um, designing your wetlands, that sort of thing. Uh, if we use the machine control on the dozers, they can easily follow on their screen. The cuts fills. It helps, you know, makes our job more efficient. We've got great operators out here, but if we can give them information to know where they're digging, where their most productive pushing is at, you know, that's just a cost benefit for us. The main reason we, just, we decided to purchase machine control for the scraper is to just make his process more efficient. That operator out there, he's there to move dirt and he can move it as efficiently as possible. If we can give him this further information so he can see firsthand what the cut fills are, what, how much material he needs to remove, he can better place himself so he, he's not spending time removing dirt that he doesn't need to. Ultimately, this helps us control the amount of material. We can you know, speed up our operations, which is always a plus. Begin putting the machine control on our machines. Our original process to update the projects on these machines was to take a flash drive, thumb drive out to the equipment, manually get in, put it in the computer, download the files. Um, we took, the, we put the investment into establishing a 3D, or a, excuse me, a wireless wireless network. What that allowed us to do is we set up operations in here where we could VNC into the machines, uh, manually wireless update the machine right there. That took away the step of us having to go out and use the thumb drive. Where fleet manager came in, when that came into the picture, it allowed us to control what projects we were putting on the machines. Uh, our typical process before is we'd have all our projects one file, we upload it on the machine. So every piece of equipment out there would get every project we had. Fleet manager allows us to pick and choose which projects we send to which machines. It's all controlled right in that one piece of software. Um, just click a few mouses, we can transfer projects over there. We can tell it to update the machine when it's done processing, which is, you know, so they get the most up-to-date version. 
if it's nothing that's urgent for them, we can, uh, you know, update it and they can get to, they, they, you know, when they switch to that new project, it's, that information's there for them. Using the time reports within Fleet Manager, you know, we, we see benefits there. It allows us, we're still an operation that uses paper time cards. Um, we can see in the future this could be a benefit, you know, leading us to, if we get our equipment all equipped with this software, that they can, from the touch of their screen, control their, their times, their delays, their work times, you know, if they're on break, what their activities they're performing, if it's a dozer, if he's ripping coal, if he's, you know, dozer pushing spoil, that sort of thing. Um, we see benefit in the time reports, just it allows us another, some more information to go back and, and look into well, how long was this machine running, how long was it down. It gives a little comparison from our current methods. The, the biggest benefit we see out of, I guess, Fleet Manager more so is, is the ability to get these updated t DTMs. Um, the ability for to write grids at the time intervals we choose, however often we want them, is a big benefit. It allows us to have that extra, extra information here in the office to, to perform our work and you know, it, it gives us better ability to direct operations on, on specific areas to concentrate in, you know, what's, what's going to put them in the best position to be most efficient, most effective. We began working with RDO here, well, probably a couple years ago. Um, we've purchased a few machine control systems from them uh, currently. Uh, they've provided service and support as needed. It's, I have no complaints there. It's been, it's been very nice working with them. Uh, things are, send something in, it's returned in a timely manner. Um, they're always there to answer questions. You know, I give them a call. If I don't answer, I get a call back for you pretty frequently or pretty soon after that. Uh, they, RDO was out here and helped us install our machine control system on our excavator. Um, the, uh, installing these sensors to get the grades down to your bucket teeth, you know, we, we allowed them to come in and kind of get things set up right away and, and uh, ultimately the installation process went very well. Uh, we, we worked hand in hand with them to find some, some bugs here and there, but they were right there to, you know, to help us, give us the support we needed to fix those. And, I'd say currently right now we've got a system that works very well and, and uh, no issues. We've been very happy. When I arrived here about, um, probably about four years ago, um, I'd come in using a different um, AutoCAD-based system. When I got here, uh, B and I had B and I has been using Carlson software. Um, I thought it was going to be a little adjustment, but actually the transform transformation over to the Carl software was very easy. I found it's very user friendly. Uh, one of the unique things what I heard from others around here is the ability if, if you've got little tools you want to add in that make sense, or if you find bugs, just the working with the the staff at Carlson has been great. You know, if you got a request for a for a command, you know, if it makes sense to them, it's something they'll they'll add in for you, and next thing you know, you got it. And it's if it's Basically, if, it's, if you find something that can make your operation that much better, I mean, they're willing to go through the work, put it in for you to help you out. You know, that's, that ability or that commitment to customer service is a big, is a big help, and I found it very helpful, and, you know, it's, it, it makes it nice, you know, using this software. I mean, it's, uh, going forward, they're knowing you have that customer support is, is, is a big benefit. I said, no, 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 no.